Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. Today we're going to talk about stacking oral steroids, the good and the bad and possibly the even ugly. But before we get into that, I just got to give a big thank you to everybody out there that's following, supporting, liking, commenting. Look, I can't express enough gratitude. I just, I genuinely, truly appreciate every single last one of you, even if you don't like the videos, just for coming, just for giving me the time of day. Thank you. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, like, share, whatever you can do to help me get the channel rebuilt and going. We're well on our way. Let's just keep this thing rocking and rolling. So let's talk about stacking oral steroids, okay? Um, let me just start by saying, I have I done it? Yes. Is it possible to do it or can you do it? Yes. But you can do whatever you want, so I don't prefer that question. There's a better way to go about it and there's a bad way to go about it. Is it something that you see me often recommend? Generally, you won't see me recommend it at all. If somebody asks me, I'll teach you how to do it properly. Have I done it successfully before? Yes. Have I done it where it's caused problems? Yes. Do I think it's necessary? No. Do I think it's um, more beneficial than running thing on its own? Absolutely not. Let me explain. So, first... When you're stacking oral steroids, one, you want to be looking at all of the side effects. So I, I don't think it's the smartest idea in the world uh, to take some of the harshest ones you can find and stack them. So for instance, Anadrol with like Halotestin or Superdrol. I don't think that's wise at all. Um, next is, and my reasoning for saying I don't feel it's as effective. Some people would think, and, and I don't blame you, well, you're getting, let's say you run um, T-ball and Winstrol. Well, you're getting all of these benefits from T-ball and Winstrol that could be synergistic together, and you're going to get this from T-ball, all this strength and possible size and Winstrol's cutting and Winstrol's strength and the hardening and on and on and on. But the problem is, to do this effectively, you've got to cut those doses in half. Otherwise, it's way too much toxicity. And you're just going to just thrash yourself. And not only are you going to thrash yourself, but you're not going to make it through like, you know, a good four to six weeks without having all kinds of problems, especially when that lethargy starts hitting because you're just smashing your liver. And that's not even talking about the, the blood pressure, the cholesterol, the kidneys, yada, yada, yada. I can go on and on and on about your different organs alone on what it's going to do to you internally. So if you don't half those doses, even with your running cycle support and all the protectants in the world, you're still going to get thrashed. And it's, it's it, so let's say you cut the doses in half like you're supposed to. Well, if I'm taking 25 migs of Anavar and 25 migs of Winstrol, yeah, they stack well together, sure. But you're really only getting half the benefit of one and half the benefit of the other. So why not just take the one that you... You know, pick one and run it full blast and just take that and get everything out of it instead of half-assing one and half-assing the other. If you're going to do it, you definitely want to keep the doses half of what they normally are. You can sure as hell run it however you want for however you want, you want with whatever you want. I'm not your dad, like I always tell people. But if you're asking me if it's smart, wise, safe, the answer is no, no, no. Um, it's just not. So that's why I, I come back to why not just take one and run it how it's supposed to be ran the most effective way possible. Run your on-cycle support, run your proper ancillaries, like if you're, especially with D-ball or something that converts to estrogen, you're protecting yourself from, you know, from estrogen, aromasin, arimidex, or aromatase inhibitors, and you're just addressing all the areas that need to be addressed and you'll be fine. I mean, well, I hate to say you'll be fine, but... You know, you, you'll be a lot better off, you'll get better results, and you'll be protecting yourself in all aspects, whereas, you know, you could have things coming at different angles. Like, let's say you want to run D-ball with one of these. Well, you, you wouldn't have had to run an aromatase inhibitor if you were just using Winstrol, but now you've thrown that into the mix by adding D-ball in there. You know, a lot of people do well with the D-ball anadrol stack, but even... You know, anadrol, while it doesn't convert to estrogen, it has estrogenic side effects, so it's just going to be a wet, sloppy mess. All right, so there's a lot to think about going into that. A lot of people always think it sounds like a better idea than it truly is. And that's what I want to point out. I also want to point out that it can be done. Shit, I've done it. I have one cycle log up that is one of the most successful cycles I've ever ran where I did stack Winstrol and Anadrol. 
Um, but then I ended up, you know, dropping one off and running the one by itself because I wanted to do that for, you know, and found it more effective that way. Um, but I've done it, you know, but like I, I won't ever do it again. And if you want to experience it, maybe it'll be better for you. I don't know. I can't tell you that. But I just know that while I have always felt like my body responds better to oral steroids, I also found it to be a less than pleasing experience most of the time because by week five or six, the toxicity makes me not want to do shit. And I, I, I am the kind of guy that I don't, I don't, that doesn't happen to me. So when it does, it's so foreign to me that I just am miserable on top of miserable, probably more than I should be. And it's just, it's something that I always dread, you know? So everybody's different. Some people handle and tolerate things better, different compounds better. That's for you to decide. And that is only really done through trial and error because everybody's different. And I can't speak for everybody, but I can tell you this. I personally feel, in my opinion, that it would be better to take one, run it at full blast, run it properly, then stack two at half the dose and have different side effects coming from different angles. Even if they are lessened by the fact that you're you're running a little bit less, it's still more things to worry about, more things to address when you could just go straight forward and get the, the, you know, the most possible out of just one. Um, it's not like stacking other steroids that are injectable where you can run them full because that toxicity is too much with the orals. It's too much on somebody. So, and you know, a lot of times with injectables, you're, you, when you're stacking, you're going to run some things lower than maybe you would before because you don't need to run them that high. I guess that depends on how reckless or how much you care about your health, but that's a whole nother story. So, I just wanted to make sure there was a full understanding of stacking orals, what needs to be done, what probably is going to be more effective than, than other methods. And, you know, I just like to make sure that you understand everything top to bottom. That's it. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.